Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm about to get started on this uh, Ford Edge behind me with the Grip Launch rinseless wash. Uh, incredible value, excellent slickness, excellent gloss, little bit of protection. It works well, it dilutes one ounce per gallon for the Gary Dean wash method. If you're not familiar with that, you should check it out. It's actually a thing. So I've got some uh, pre-diluted, you'll dilute per the directions. Uh, I got some pre-diluted pre-soak right here. And then I've got a gallon of water in this bucket and one ounce of the solution. I like to use the uh, Gary Dean wash method drying towel. Uh, these towels actually work the best when they're damp. So I soak it in the clean bucket of solution, wring it out, and it's ultra absorbent at that point. Um, you can use it when it's dry. Uh, I just They just work better when they're damp. So, drying towel, how the Gary Dean wash method works is, you'll pre-soak a panel, let the product encapsulate the dirt, use as much of the pre-soak as you want. I actually put, I think I put three ounces in this bottle and filled it up with water. Um, you can do your own testing to figure out what dilution is right for you in your particular situation uh, because everybody's opinion is different. Uh, and that's the thing about detailing products. A lot of times it has very little to do with uh, performance. A uh, product can be amazing, but if it doesn't smell like a customer wants or, or, or you know, wipe away as easily or, or any number of factors then they'll move to a next product doesn't have anything to do with performance a lot of times so with this particular product it works really well all of the grip launch products are value based so it's a, a similar situation to walking into a big box store and pulling something off the shelf that lineup is incredibly uh, you know the performance is awesome um, the, the prices are awesome and uh, at detailjuice.com, everything ships for free after $50. So after you add a few things to your cart, you get free shipping anyway. So with free shipping, incredible value, great performance. There's no reason why you would not go with the Grip Launch line. Uh, in fact, it works very well. So now I've got my panel uh, already broken down as far as the uh, product goes. It has encapsulated the dirt. I like to take a clean towel out of the bucket, pull a clean towel out of the bucket. After your pre-soak, you start from top to bottom, just like so. And now I've got a dirty side of this towel, so I'll never use that side of the towel on the vehicle again, but beyond that, this towel will never go back into that clean wash bucket, ever. No need for multiple buckets, the two bucket wash method is dead because one bucket and never introducing the dirt from the car into the bucket keeps your bucket clean the whole time and why would you not want that so anyway next step dry the panel And if you want, if there's a little bit of residue left over, you can take a clean, dry microfiber towel and buff it in. Um, I'm not gonna bother with that because I always do my wipe downs at the end to make sure there's no streaks or spots. So I'm gonna work around the vehicle and get this thing cleaned up. Stuff smells awesome. It's a, a coconut scent. Use as much pre-soak as you feel comfortable with. I mean, by the time you dilute this, you're even, you're getting more value for your money. But uh, that's kind of where we're at. So now I'm gonna use the uh, opposite side, the clean side. Top 
top to bottom. You can see how nasty this is. So now, both this side and this side are, are dirty. So all I'm gonna use is four sides of every towel. So I flip it over now. Now I've got two brand new sides I can use, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this dried first before I go into the next panel because you don't want the solution to dry on the finish because then you potentially will have some spots to deal with and whatever. And you wanna definitely do whatever you can to not be chasing your tail when you're doing a job, either for yourself or somebody else. So there's that, and we just move right along. You could use a pump sprayer, I don't bother with that. I just use this trigger sprayer. Clean side of the towel, up to bottom. Side to side, and there you go. Now the dirty side of the towel. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this small quarter panel section real quick before I dry that side. Not for any real reason other than I'm gonna discard this towel after this. So last clean side. Always do your lower portions, your trim and that kind of thing last. That way this dirt and grime doesn't get all over your paint. So now this towel is done. Plenty of lubrication left in it, but I'm gonna discard it. I don't feel like it's enough lubrication uh, to do what it's supposed to do after four sides. So now this gets washed and we can use it again next time. I'm gonna be using the entire grip wash line on this vehicle. Um, this is the obviously the rinseless wash. And uh, I clay this vehicle two to three times a year. It's not heavily contaminated. I'm not gonna bother claying today because I did it probably a couple months ago. And uh, what I'm gonna do though with this vehicle is I'm going to, after I get the whole thing done, I will definitely be using the Grip Launch spray sealant. This is a great, less expensive alternative to Juice Boost. Um, it works. I wouldn't say it doesn't last quite as long, but you'll get the same initial gloss and slickness. Um, you just won't get the longevity of, of Juice Boost. You also cannot use this to dilute uh, into the infinite use detail juice like you can juice boost. So um, it's not really an apples to apples comparison. Juice boost is a concentrate. Um, there is more value for your money uh, and it's stronger. It just lasts longer and protects better. So um, when it comes to this, it's a inexpensive way to get awesome slickness, gloss and protection uh, for your higher production detail shops and or somebody who wants a quick and easy way to get a little protection because they're all about maintenance and they really enjoy detailing their car. So this is the next step. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the camera and we'll be back when I'm showing you how to use the uh, Grip Launch spray sealant. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys the uh, power of the Grip Launch wheel and grime cleaner. Uh, how I generally do this is uh, I'll spray the tire. It'll get uh, all the browning off of it. The browning is not from what you might think. It doesn't come with, doesn't come from silicone based tire dressings or any of that stuff. The browning is actually the preservative they put in the rubber with centrifugal force. As the tire spins at a high rate of speed, it pushes all that uh, preservative out to the outside. So in order to combat that, um, you're going to use a good quality eco-friendly cleaner like the Grip Launch uh, Wheel and Grime Cleaner. Spray it on, let it dwell for a second. Um, I just go in with a 
just a dedicated wheel towel, nothing fancy. Generally, you'd use a black towel, but I've got a bunch of really old, nasty towels like this one. And I'm not even going to bother with a brush. I'm just going to clean the tire with the microfiber towel, get all that light browning off, rinse it out a bit, then uh, just go to town by hand on these wheels because I can get to everything with my fingers, so that's a good thing. Um, this stuff does a great job of breaking down even really nasty brake dust. This is a pretty standard uh, cleaning for these wheels. I, I do these cars roughly once a month, sometimes a little longer. I think this time it's been a month and a week. They drive this thing a lot. They take a lot of trips in it and that kind of thing, so it's always got brake dust on it. But because I clean it so frequently, it doesn't have any accumulation, which is good. Um, so. I would use this demo as more of a, you know, general maintenance kind of end result because that's what this is. Uh, but after the wheel's all nice and clean, I usually wring out the same towel and then I'll go and dry it all. Wipe it all down, make sure everything's dry. And then once everything's dry, clean, that kind of thing, I take the uh, water-based tire gel from the Grip Launch lineup. Now you can use this as a gel if you want. I like to put a sprayer on it. And uh, I literally just spray it on the tire. And then I'll just let it sit. And that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the wheels and tires and we'll be back shortly. All right, now that the car is all clean and dry, I've cleaned the wheels, dressed the tires. I always wait till I spray the tire dressing on before I go into the final wipe down because if for some reason the wind is blowing and it blows that tire dressing onto the paint, I wanna be able to get that with the final wipe. That's the whole point of doing a final wipe in my opinion. But in order to add protection and save some time, because you guys know that's what I'm all about, is saving time without, uh, re saving time, increasing efficiency, uh, without cutting corners. I wanna definitely do everything that needs to be done to give the customer the best job that I can possibly do for them per their expectation and uh, the budget on the job. So when it comes to this particular job, story of my life, anything I do, there's a hundred million phone calls happening. Uh, so anyway, I wanna make sure that I dress the tires before I go down with the final wipe down, but instead of using the detail spray on this one, I wanna add some protection this time. So I'm gonna do that with the Grip Launch spray sealant. It's not complicated to use. You literally just spray on a mist, wipe it in, make sure it's all even. I give it a couple of sprays per panel. It doesn't take a lot. In fact, you should only use around a quarter of an ounce uh, per vehicle um, of this stuff. So it's incredible value. A 16 ounce bottle will do, what is that? 16 times, um, 16 times four. So it's a lot, uh, 64 cars you can get with one bottle. And I think the retail is $13.99. I use it on all the mirrors, all the glass, the trim, everything. Um, that's the cool part of it about this product is that you will be protecting everything this stuff hits. So um, fear not, it's not going to discolor your trim. It's just going to make everything look amazing. In fact, in most cases, it'll actually make your trim beat up like you just waxed it. Uh, so that's good. It's actually hydrating the trim and uh, putting some protection in the pores of the trim. So the only thing it doesn't do, I mean, like I said, it will protect the trim, but uh, it's not gonna darken it back up. It doesn't have anything in there to darken per se, but it will protect the trim. So I'm gonna go ahead around with the spray sealant uh, and knock it all out and then I'll start on the next one. Thanks so much for watching guys. Uh, the three products I used here today are phenomenal products and 
my name is on the bottle so I can tell you whatever I want I can talk to you until I'm blue in the face telling you how amazing these products are but if you don't give them an opportunity yourself you're doing yourself an incredible injustice if you need good quality detailing products at a great price slam full of value but you gotta check them out on your own to see what I'm talking about guys I wouldn't steer you wrong I'm a career detailer this product line is an absolute passion of mine I own other companies but I always seem to lean on the detailing because it is therapeutic I like the whole detailing process I enjoy you know helping to engineer and manufacture uh, products um, I I love what I do. I'm extremely passionate about it. And if I can use this stuff every single day as a pro detailer, you can too. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Check me out on Instagram at gary.dean.35. Uh, you can also uh, send me a message on Facebook if you need me. Uh, check out all of my Facebook pages. Uh, also, uh, if you need to get a hold of me, Call my cell phone number, which is 813-846-4406. Uh, leave me a voicemail if I don't answer. I'm a pretty busy guy, as you just saw. Uh, or just send me a text message, and as soon as I get a chance, I'll give you a call back. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found some of this valuable. Have a great day.